everyone. So uh, uh, we will continue with the moment of inertia, and as we said, uh, we'll be solving 1027, which is uh, which asks us for to, 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 to determine the moment of inertia of the composite area about the y-axis. Now in 1026 we found it, or we found the moment of inertia about the x-axis. Now here we should find it about the y-axis. Again, look at the centroid of each shape. Do they coincide with the uh, uh, axis where we are looking for the moment uh, about it? Definitely no. So we have to use the uh, parallel axis theorem. So now, again, three shapes, triangle, rectangle, and circle. So for this triangle, the centroid is here. For the circle and the rectangle, the centroids are coinciding both at this point. So now, we know for a fact that the parallel axis theorem states that the uh, moment of inertia about some axis, for example, the y-axis, now it's asking for in the moment of inertia about the y-axis, this is equal to the moment of inertia for uh, any shape about its centroidal axis, so iy prime, plus its area multiplied by the distance. Now, the distance is the x distance or the vertical distance to the y-axis squared. Now, let's start with these shapes one by one. Now, first, the triangle. Now, again, if you go to the back of your book for the triangle, uh, for the triangle, the uh, i about, this is i about the x-axis, but, but you can also get i about y-axis. The y-axis is 1 over 36 hb cube. hb cube, okay? It's the inverse of this one, so hb cube. Okay. So, i about y for this triangle so equals to 1 over 36 bh cube, right? Or, uh, yeah, multiplied by 200, right? So, it's again bh cube, but we have to say hb cube hb cube for the triangle, hb cube. So h is 200, b cubed is 300 cubed plus its area, half the base multiplied by the height. Now, multiplied by the distance, the vertical distance to the y-axis between the centroid, its centroid, and the y-axis. So now, its centroid, we know for a fact, it's just 1 over 3rd from this right angle, or 2 over 3 from this acute angle. So from here, it's, it's the distance, so this is the centroid, right? We, said, we know it's, it's just somewhere here. So this distance is 2 over 3 multiplied by 300. So from here to here, it's 2 over 3 multiplied by 300 millimeters. So, so 2 over 3 multiplied by 300, this is 2, this is 600 over 3, so it's, just, so it's 200. So, so this is the area, and this is the vertical distance to the y-axis. So you get a value of 1.35 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 millimeters to the power 4. Now, we'll work with the rectangle. For the rectangle, go back to your book. This is the rectangle, i about the y-axis, 1 over 12, hb cube, hb cube. So this is the height, and then you take the cube, cubic value of the width, hb cube. So, i, y for this shape is 
1 over 12 b or uh, yeah h b cube h b cube or did i say h b cube so this is this is the width mm -hmm. so it's uh, h cube actually no b cube yeah so b cube is 300 cubed multiplied by the height plus its area so 200 Ah, sorry, I'm working with the rectangle, that's why I made a mistake. So this is the rectangle. So 1 over 12, uh, uh, HB cube, HB cube, H is the height, B cube is uh, 300, so 150 plus 150 cubed, multiplied by its, plus its area, 200 multiplied by 300, multiplied by the distance. Now the distance, this is vertical distance, from this centroid to the y-axis. Now, from here, from the centroid of the rectangle to this line, this is 150 plus 300, so 450 squared. Hmm. So now IY is 1.2673. Okay, this multiplied by 10 to the power 10 millimeters to the power 4. This is for the rectangle. 1 over 12 b or h b cube. h is the height b cube plus the area multiplied by the vertical distance or square the vertical distance to the y-axis. Now circle. And remember we have to subtract its moment of inertia from the whole moment of inertia because it's a whole. So IY. Now for the circle. Again, go back here. This is the circle. IY is 1 over 4 pi r to the power 4. Okay. So now it's 1 over 4 multipl multiplied by pi by the radius to the power 4 plus the area pi multiplied by squared uh, radius squared pi r squared multiplied by the distance it's exactly the same as that of the rectangle 150 plus 300 so 450 you solve for that you get 3.6 I hope multiplied by 10 to the power 9 that's it so we're done we just say that y y total so let's just sum them up algebraically this is 1.35 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 which is for the triangle plus that of the rectangle 1.26 10 to the power 10 minus that of the circle 3.6 10 to the power 9 okay so this value is 10.35 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 the units are super important millimeters to the power 4 that's it I hope you guys understood. If you have any questions, you can uh, email me directly. Thank you very much. Uh, probably we will be solving another problem later. Thanks.